You testified in your deposition that you did not know the whistleblower. Uh, Ranking member, it's uh, Lieutenant Colonel Vindman, please. Uh, Le Lieutenant Colonel Vindman, you testified in the deposition that you did not know the, who the whistleblower was. Devin Nunes, pictured on my right. Oh uh, my goodness. He's now uh, finding himself in the sights of some concern over his involvement in this impeachment inquiry. Um, there's an allegation that Representative Devin Nunes met with uh, Shokin. So he's the ousted investigator from Ukraine who helped to sort of start this whole thing. Apparently, he was trying to obtain information about former Vice President Joe Biden and his son. This is uh, Lev Parnas's attorney has clued us all into this. Parnas is one of two Soviet born associates associates for Rudy Giuliani, who were indicted on charges that they broke a campaign finance law. So Parnas' attorney, Joseph Brody, told the Washington Post that Shokin informed Parnas that he had met with Nunes in Vienna back in December of last year. So that's what he said. Now, he was also asked over the weekend about this. He was on Fox with Maria Bartiromo, and here is how he answered the question. Yeah. Were you in Vienna with Shokin? Yeah, so look, Maria, uh, I really wanna answer all of these questions. Uh, and I promise you, I absolutely will come back on the show and answer these questions. But because there is criminal activity here, we're working with the appropriate law enforcement agencies. We're going to file all this. Everyone's going to know the truth. Everybody's going to know all the facts. But I think you can understand that I can't compete by trying to trying to debate this out with the public media right. when 90 percent of the media are totally corrupt. And because this is criminal in nature, and because it's so bad, it's so slanderous. Are you telling me that CNN committed criminal activity? Well, it's it's very likely, uh, or they're or they're an accessory to it. Devin Nunes, take him seriously. He is not just the main representative and the one who gives the opening statements from uh, the Republican side during the impeachment hearings, where he says stuff like this. Putting this farce in our court provides two main advantages for the Democrats. He always talks about what a farce the impeachment hearings are. You would almost forget that he has his own farcical course court battles himself, mm -hmm. where he is suing a cow on Twitter, <laughs> as well as a fictional version of his own mom. And there's been a court filing <laughs> in Sacramento, as reported in his district, as reported by the Sacramento Bee. A Democratic strategist is refusing to disclose communications that could reveal the identity of the anonymous Twitter users who criticized Representative Devin Nunes, arguing in a new court filing that the accounts are clearly satirical expressions of political speech. No reasonable person would believe that Devin Nunes cow actually has a Twitter account, or that the hyperbole satire and cow related jokes it posts are serious facts. Uh, it is self evident that cows are domesticated livestock animals <laughs> and do not have the intelligence. We hold these truths to be self evident. <laughs> cows are domesticated livestock animals and do not have the intelligence, language, or opposable digits needed to complete the rest of that court filing. Uh, yeah, or opposable digits needed to operate a Twitter account. Defendant Devin Nunes' mom likewise posts satirical, <laughs> patronizing, nagging, mothering comments, which ostensibly treat Mr. Nunes as a misbehaving child. My question is, will Devin Nunes' actual mom have to appear in court and be like, how does one Twitter? Devin Nunes is finally gonna be moseying off down that old dusty trail. I wish that he had just been uh, directly rejected by the voters, but I'll take this too. He is going to be moving on to go work for Donald Trump as the CEO of his new social media venture. That's going to, uh, in hindsight, be a great idea, I think. Uh, for context, he was initially elected to Congress in 2002 at age 30, was reelected last year for a 10th term, which ends in January 2023. So he will be leaving early, which means we will have a special election. He's gonna be joining Trump Media and Technology Group as its chief executive starting in January. He says the time has come to reopen the internet and allow for the free flow of ideas and expression without censorship. The simple fact that Devin Nunes has spent uh, something like four or five years now trying to do the bidding of Donald Trump does not mean that just because you got this job, you're gonna keep it. It's history, it's track record, I should say, already is embarrassing at this point. It is almost certainly going to continue to be, once we get into it actually being rolled out, they're going to need a scapegoat for that. 
And why not Devin Nunes as scapegoat? Hmm? Why not? They are going to can him eventually, and he will have thrown aside a longstanding career in Congress. I cannot imagine that this is a decision that he's going to look back on in 10 years and say was wise. You're fired. It's literally the you're fired guy. Anyway, they need a scape cow. That, that's what you need.